Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. I'm going to be taking a look at the person connected to your energy, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past currently in your present or coming up in your future yes roles can be reversed so take what applies to you the person on your mind your situation and leave the rest at the end of your reading i will be pulling an oracle message from spirit messages oracle deck to give us some more insight guidance and clarification on your situation also for your reading this week i will be using a brand new tarot deck uh, wild reflections it's really really interesting i like it it's just different um and i pick up on it more um with my intuition i like it it just called to me so let's go ahead and get started um the person connected to aquarius's energy show me how aquarius feels about this person You feel left out in the cold by this person and it does look like you are hopeful that you two will reconcile but feeling this loss of this person um you feel like you two once had a good relationship or it's something that you wanted the lovers is at the bottom of the deck and the relationship was really good there needs to be some healing um but you're feeling very isolated, left out in the cold here. So the star, the three of cups, and the five of pentacles here. They're exactly what you wished for. You really enjoyed being around this person. You really liked how things were going. And then started to feel isolated by this person. Um, the closer that you got to them. But I also see that you, you know, you're holding on to hope that you two will reconcile. You do miss them. Mm. This is like your love. The love of your life or just somebody you love dearly here. Um, really missing them a lot. So let's go ahead and look at how this person feels about you, Aquarius. Looks like it's just difficult so this person still has a cup for you they want like to start over ace of cups the moon the devil but they fear that if they give love to you then it's just going to fall apart or that if they get love from you things just become chaotic between the two of you the nine of cups and then the tower come out as additional cards but we have the ace of cups the moon and the devil um you and this person i feel like you are their soulmate if not twin flame um because that four of wands is at the bottom of the deck right here you know you're like this pearl to them and they definitely have love for you but they're not telling you because you know things happen the way that they happen they it's like they feel this tie to you that they can't let go of you and that they want your love but every time that they tried it would end chaotically or the rug would be pulled beneath their feet it also feels like they try and move on but they can't they're still tied to you let me get the connection between the two of you
So in this connection situation, we have the Fool, the World card, the Lovers. The King of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Um, it's like the beginning of trying. I get like you both took a leap of faith towards each other at one point. But in this connection, it's it's like taking that leap of faith to complete this relationship in a union. One person wants to pursue more than the other one is going to. You both want this, but I don't see anybody really doing anything right now. Because you, you know, you want this person, you miss this person, but feeling very much left out in the cold. Like this person left you out in the cold or because you feel this loss of them. And there is that three of cups of wanting this reconciliation or I just miss them. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the star. What's crazy is like you two complete each other. In a relationship, you two get each other more than anything. Huh. Okay, so the star is clarified by the Queen of um, Swords. Okay. Nine of Wands and the Seven of Cups. You, know, you have hope in this situation, um, trying to be the bigger person to talk to this person. However, it always ends with feeling very exhausted that you end up getting hurt and you've tried to look at all these different ways to strategically talk to them, to get them to open up to you and they just won't. Um, You also want to be heard like you have these unhealed. I don't want to say un, you're trying to heal these wounds. So you're like, no BS. I want you to know that I, I've been hurt. And, you know, when it comes to different ways of, of trusting, it's hard for me to trust or it's hard for me to trust you. And you just feel like this person doesn't hear you. Let's go ahead and clarify the three of cups. You miss this person and want to reconcile with them, but there's a third party involvement where this person's being cold and it's because they have a new romance and that's what really hurts. It's making you really feel that this is over. There's no coming back from this. They're not going to come back from this uh, because they have somebody else. Three of cups, the king of swords and the ace of cups. And even this person telling you the fact of the matter is, as you speak clearly about, you know, that this person cares about you or that they love you. And then they turn around and they tell you like, I have somebody leave me alone or whatever the case may be, but they still hold a place for you in their heart. It's just, they're in a commitment um, for some, it's like they have a family that they've started with somebody else or just a, a relationship to see where things go with somebody new here. But this is really hard and you're really feeling this loss and feeling that, you know, a situation is over has you feel you need to move on, but it, it hurts. Okay, so five of pentacles clarified by the devil, the fool. And the page of swords all right so you feel the loss of this person and you're tempted to have a fresh new start i do see that do you feel this like very serious bond with this person whatever it is that binds you two together which stops you because you end up spying on this person um 
There's even somebody with this queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. There's even somebody who is very attractive around you and your energy here, Aquarius, but you don't notice this person because you have your guard up and you're looking like you keep going back to the things that are not healthy for you with this person. Um, feeling this loss makes you feel like you want to hold on to it. But knowing you need a fresh new start, trying to learn how to do that, trying to to heal this situation, but then spying on this person and seeing who they're with and comparing, even comparing yourself with this person you want to be with, you're comparing yourself with their new love interest. Let's go ahead and clarify that Ace of Cups. You're even spying on their new love interest um, social media. So you look this person up and then you go to their their profile if their profile is locked in private you'll see what they're tagged in and then you go to whatever that is and it, it's a lot of digging and it's not good because it's not helping you to move on okay so they still have this cup of love for the for you, right, with this Ace of Cups. They might have somebody else, but they still have love for you. They're never gonna let go of that love that you were always kind to them, but they are definitely guarded from, get, you know, from that situation. They become defensive, like, no, it's not good for me. I don't wanna go backwards to Aquarius. I need to guard myself, protect myself from going to that situation and just close this out. So even though they have love for you, and would want to have like a, like, yeah, I have love for Aquarius. We're always going to have love for each other kind of situation. If you're around them, you know, they feel like it's better to guard themselves from you and take a stand and close this chapter out and not go back to it. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the moon. The Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this new person that they have, if you thought it wasn't that serious, what they're hiding is the fact that they are definitely creating a life with this person. That they are sac making sacrifices for them because they feel like they found the one. This is the person I want to be with because everybody likes them. Um, you know, this Queen of Wands coming off as... Uh, somebody who everybody looks at whenever they walk in the room or like everybody wants to talk to that person because they're a lot of fun or whatever the case may be and so this person that you want back is really pursuing after them and they're w willing to give everything up because they feel that if they don't then somebody else will somebody else will take them away um Let's go ahead and clarify the devil. It's not as easy as it sounds or may appear in this person's life that they've moved on from you entirely, Aquarius, because this bond that they have with you makes them feel stuck and it makes them feel that they want to release that because things are changing and they're not the same person they once were. They're in this whole, re I'm not the same person. I'm leaving that behind. I'm moving on to the next chapter of my life and focusing on that, but they keep being pulled backwards to why do I keep thinking about Aquarius? Why can't I just let go that easy? Um, because the tower comes out at the bottom of the deck as it keeps getting disrupted. Things keep getting disrupted every time they try to progress towards, you know, letting go. 
they just, it's hard for them to let go um, because they still hold you in their heart, even though they know they shouldn't go back to a relationship with you. They're not entirely over you. I don't want to say like they want you back because I don't want to give you that kind of false hope, but they still have love for you. Something that you two share together um, in this bond is very, it ties you two together like forever. No one else is ever going to understand that bond that you two have. They're never going to have that with anybody else. And you might not either. Um, but it's something that they feel like they're ready to, like, I need to move on. But it's hard for them to do that. Um, the Eight of Swords, Judgment Card, Three of Pentacles, and the Tower at the bottom of the deck. So as they try and move on, like I said, they kind of get knocked backwards all over again. Let's go ahead and get the outcome between you and this person. I have the King of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You have a lot of love for this person. I'm not saying that they don't, but you're still in love with this person. You want that back. And you're carrying around this heavy weight of wanting this person from your past because you're still in love with them. Uh, looking at messages, photos, whatever, uh, between the two of you. But there's also still messaging. And, you know, there's, I see this person reaching out like, are you doing okay? Just checking on you. But they shouldn't do that because it's giving you false hope that you two are going to be together. They guard themselves from a relationship and um, giving this romance like a rebirth here. But yet they check on you. You know, they give you this false sense of hope that something has changed here. Um, let's get the, an Oracle message for you, Aquarius. I just don't want you to be in this cycle of suffering in a sense of you love this person. You two share a lot of memories together. That's something you carry around with you. It's hard to let go of that, but them checking on you is it's, when they do it, they're like, I'm just seeing how you're doing. And that just is not good um, because you feel different than they do. You're still hoping that things are going to work out. And it's really making you feel this grieving. Um, that's just, I'm so sorry. It's just hard for you um, as you're trying to heal, trying to move on, trying to you know, explore something new, but you still love this person. And I understand it's difficult when we love someone like that. So it says, never allow yourself to be taken for granted. It is better to remove yourself from the situation than to be treated less than you deserve. You are precious. You are worthy. Absolutely. Okay. So this Oracle message here, spirit really wants you to know that this person, when they reach out to you just to try and keep you in their life and, and see how you're doing, it's none of their business, how you're doing, um, because they're taking you for granted because they're trying to keep you in their life in some way, but yet they're living another life with somebody else that they're in love with and in a relationship with. And you are precious, you are worthy, and you deserve so much more than the way that this person treats treats you like that because they are, they're trying to still hold on like, well, I still, you know, I still care for Aquarius, but I'm not going to go back. And it's just a false sense of hope that they provide. And it's not fair to you. You deserve so much more and so much better. And if you stay holding on to something that you don't have, then you might miss the opportunity for somebody who really wants to give you the love that you deserve um, or exploring where life is going to take you. 
you know, um, journey through life, you know, go on that wandering path and, and see where it takes you and the new people you meet, the places you go, focus on other things, um, yourself and find that inner guidance of where life is leading you, uh, the fun that you can explore, you know, Don't take your life for granted in that way by allowing someone to think that they still have a place in your life whenever they're with somebody else. That's on them and they're missing out. So you go have fun. Um, But, you know, it's just hard and I get it. I understand. So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.